Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We're asked to factor out the coefficient of a variable uh, from the polynomial 3 tenths y minus 2 fifths. And this one looks a little intimidating because it has some fractions in it. So before we actually do that, I am going to um, come off to the side and we're going to look at a couple of examples of factoring out the coefficient of a variable from a polynomial um, that don't have fractions. And then we'll get back to the fraction question. So the first one I want to look at is 5x plus 10. So the coefficient of the variable is referring to this number 5 that's being multiplied by the x. Factor just means write it as a product. So we want to write this polynomial 5x plus 10 as a product of 5 and something. Okay, so we're going to take the coefficient of the variable and move it to the front of a set of parentheses. And now we just have to decide what would we have to put in the parentheses in order to make this product equal to the original expression. So we normally do this by just saying, well, let's see, what would we have to multiply 5 by to get 5x? Well, we'd have to multiply 5 by x. And what would we have to multiply 5 by to get positive 10? Well, that would be a 2. So this would be the factored form where we have factored out the coefficient of the variable x. And you'll notice that if you distributed back inside, 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 2 is 10, you'd get the original polynomial back. But I also want you to notice something else. This number 2, what operation are we really doing mentally when we ask the question, what do I multiply 5 by to get 10? Well, we're really dividing the 10 by 5. That's how we got that number. So keeping that in mind, let's look at 7a minus 21. Another polynomial, actually a binomial because it has two terms. The coefficient of the variable a is 7. So again, we're going to factor out the coefficient of the variable. So I'm going to factor out the 7. And what would be left behind? Well, the a, of course, in the first term. But then, if you think about it, what's negative 21 divided by 7? Negative 21 divided by 7 would be negative 3. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. So this is 7 times the quantity a minus 3. All right, so we're going to imitate this procedure to work the problem we're interested in, which is the one with fractions. So our problem was 3 tenths times y minus 2 fifths. We want to factor out the coefficient of the variable, so we're going to factor out the 3 tenths. So we write the 3 tenths in front of the parentheses. And then what we need to do is we need to see what's left behind. So 3 tenths times y gives us the first term, but this second term is not so easy. But remember, how do we find the number that we need, we take the original number negative 2 fifths and we just divide it by the 3 tenths. So do you remember how to divide fractions? Um, one device that people use to remember that is keep, change, flip. When you divide fractions, you keep the first fraction the same, change the operation from division to multiplication and flip the fraction over. And so we get negative 2 fifths times 10 thirds. We can reduce a bit before we multiply across. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice. And now we're going to just multiply straight across. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. 1 times 3 is 3. So the number that's missing here is negative 4 thirds. Now, we can confirm always with any factoring problem, we can confirm our solution. So this is my proposed solution, but it's not a bad idea to check. Since factoring is really dividing out a number, we can check by multiplying it back in. So let's just go ahead and check. So I'm going to multiply 3 tenths times y, 3 tenths y, and then 3 tenths times negative 4 thirds, which will be a negative number. And let's see, I'm going to write out what is 3 tenths times 4 thirds. So I can reduce a bit. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 3 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 10 five times. Multiplying straight across then, 
we have negative two fifths. So that actually is what we started with. So we know that we got the right answer. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.